Regis. Come on, just take the fucking sword. Okay, gloves. Why can I not give them to you? Um... Shiny. Damn it, you stupid fuck. I don't care about your stupid sword. What do you need? Help save the village from a volcano that's about to erupt. This is gonna be interesting. See how it goes. I'm sure there are a lot of ways to stop a volcano erupting. Why would you even have a village in there? Are you fucking stupid? Hey, let's have a village next to this active volcano. Help save the shaman's village by sacrificing objects to the volcano goddess. Right, three bounties of earth. Sweet. Dead baby into the volcano. You go. <laughs> and it worked. Oh, that is perfect. A sheep, of course. That's what they use. And a monkey. They all worked. Sweet. Poor people. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll make a few more of them when I'm done with this. The volcano is still angry. Maybe it's unhappy with her dependency on technology. Try to appease it by writing more sacrifices. A TV. That worked. Um, a toaster. No coffee makers or coffee machines. That did not work. Um, an electric... Electric piano. That worked as well. Sweet. Um, hmm. A microwave. Damn it. Huge mansion. Goodbye, motherfucker. That didn't work either. Um, radio? Would, would that work? Yes, that worked. Sweet. It's still coming up, I would assume. What next? What next? The volcano keeps rising. Perhaps the volcano god is once a monetary sacri sac sacrifice. Create a donation for the volcano. Um, dollar. There you go. More money then? That money makes very weird noises when it's burning. The offerings did not work. Now the volcano goddess has appeared and is demanding a love interest. Write a mate that she will be happy with. How about a volcano god? Volcanic god. And just burn him as well, why don't you? Hmm. And he's scared. And it's in love. Sweet. Well, aren't you happy? And I saved your village. That you were stupid enough to sail near a volcano. We need one more. Then we can check out the last maps, things, whatever's. I think there was another. Yes. I think we'll go. Oh shit. Well, we're on fire. Ouch. I don't know what burnt. Oh, the carpet burned, of course. We'll do this and then we'll go check out the. Last levels. Ward off the four horsemen of the apocalypse. God, we're just doing everything this time. This time, monster attack. Stopping volcanoes and dealing with the horsemen. Deter the four horsemen by. Uh, stop the disease brought by on by pestilence. Um. How? How, how the fuck do I do this? Bug spray.
Yo, why don't you stop that? Now you're healthy. Come on, kill the bugs. How do I stop this? Um... Exterminator? Ah, I don't even know how to fucking type it. Fearless cures of this disease. Cure. Wait, what? That doesn't work? Um... Okay. Medicine. Okay, it worked. Sweet. Oh no, you died. Who's this? You. War, I would assume? Yes. Find a way to stop the war. A white flag. Well, that... Stop it. You go away. No. No, that does not do anything. Um... Hmm. How about a referee? Um, peace sign? Damn it, that doesn't work. Pedaled sign. Come on, more, more hints, please. How do you stop a war? A oh, uh, a peace treaty. No, it still doesn't work. Did I even... Spell it could... Ah, I don't care. Whatever. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. We need some... Oh. A hippie. A hippie opposes war. Peace, man. And that worked. Whoever knew that it was that easy to stop a horseman of the apocalypse. Famine. Now you need food. Wait, what? What? How did I help them? What did they eat? I don't know. Alright, whatever. It works. Death. Despite filling their stomachs, death has taken them. Find a way to ward off death by bringing them back to life. Alive! And she gets up as well. Sweet! That was fairly easy. Thank you very much. Sorry that it hit your head and hurt you. Just don't die again, and we'll be all good. Go to Lily! Can we save her yet? Like, how is she even going to react to that? Aww. Sweet. Lily's done. She done deed and she good. And then I was fine. The glow wasn't coming from the starite, though. It was coming from every single good thing Maxwell had done while trying to save me. Every single good deed had helped. Dad could tell we were kind of mad at him. That's a pretty mean trick to turn your daughter to stone. He said that we really needed to see how hard things can get in life, even if you have special abilities. He also said that he knew we would come through it all right, at least if we were any kids of his. We eventually forgave him, but not until we had the last laugh. We borrowed his cane and used it on his underwear drawer. From then on, we tried to use our powers to help those that didn't have them. It was a lot of fun. So kids, remember to always treat others as you would like to be treated. Not everyone has a brother with a magical notebook that can save them. I wish I did. I'm glad I had one, though. The end.
I guess that's the game. And it is. It is. Alright. So, um... Hmm. Well, let, let me do it this way. Uh, if you'd like to see the last, the last levels explored at least a little bit, um, type a comment. Say that you'd like to see the last levels, I guess. And uh, then I can do an extra series of this where I go check them out. But seeing as the game is done now, I might as well just put an end to the LP itself um, and do a review of it and then start the new game that I had in mind. Uh, but yes, once again, if you'd like to see the rest of the game, please do let me know and then I can, of course, uh, do some extra extra videos on this. But, I guess, I guess that's it. So, um, review time. This review is going to be pretty short and to the point. Um, there isn't really much to talk about since it's not that big of a game. It's, it's fairly easy and it's, it's fairly short. But nonetheless, it is, uh, it is very good. Uh, the graphics are, well, the graphics are colorful, color, colorful, they're cartoony, and they do their job well in giving the game a very unique look, which, of course, suits the gameplay style being very... Tom Jones? What the fuck? And we're back, sorry. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Had to take a little break. Uh, where was I? Uh, the graphics going well with the gameplay style, and of course, there's no voice acting. It really, isn't a story. You just get the opening intro and then the ending, and that's pretty much it. As those, well, that guy's doing push-ups and getting a cookie for it. Nice. I wish someone brought me cookies whenever I did a push-up. But, uh, yes, the the music is great. Uh, the soundtrack is, is awesome. I love it. So many good songs. And the little voices and noises give, uh, give the game, once again, a very unique feel. But where the game really shines, like, like I mean, it, it doesn't have the best story. It doesn't have the best graphics, it doesn't have the best any anything pretty much. But overall, it's what games are supposed to be. It's a little three letter word and it's it's fun. The game is very much fun to play and the gameplay is is very addicting. There's so many different ways to play it. Like I said in the beginning, even if you watched this, I still urge you to to uh, to buy the game if if you have any interest in it or would like to have some short random fun with the game. It's very fun to play because there's possibly an infinite um, well not infinite but close to an infinite amount of possibilities. For every single problem. And uh, it's it's not even a full-priced game. It's like 30 bucks, I believe, something of that sort. So I definitely urge anyone to buy this if if they're feeling like it. Uh, you can get it on Steam. There's a link in the description. And uh, in terms of uh, score, probably a five out of five. Surprising? I don't know, but it's fun. And that's what games are supposed to be. It's super fun. And that concludes the review. So, once again, if you want me to do the rest of the levels as well, um, you can always type it in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching. This has been Let's Play Scribble Knots Unlimited. The game is now done. At least the short story that there was. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you for all the reviews and the comments and the likes and the dislikes. Favorites, whatever's awesomely appreciated awesomely is that even a word it is now awesomely appreciated so thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed and i shall see you guys next time